The following program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters. Hi. Hi! Welcome to the ring and all other sports. My name is Leo Connors and I'm back Woo! along with my tag team partner Derek Dukes. What's up, uh, brother? How you doing, baby? Not bad, you? Good to see you. And we are live Woo! on YouTube right now. Yes. So I hope you guys are watching. We put it out on Facebook to let everybody know to watch. I texted the people that are important to me. If you, I didn't text you, doesn't mean you're really not important <laughs> to me, but not as important as the people that I texted. That's right. But listen, we're going to jump right into it. we got a yes, lot sir. of stuff talking. we got wrestling. we got the Boston Red Sox yes. playing tonight, tonight, game one. So, uh, Derek. Yes, sir. We're going all the way back. Going all the way back. All the way back to September 11th, 2016. What? 15 years after 9-11. Unbelievable, no. huh? And the reason why I no. know the exact amount, and Sarah turns 15 this month. And it was, wow. you know what I mean? Yeah, no unbelievable. 15, wow. freshman in high school. But uh, listen, we're going to go back, like I said, to September 11th, 2016. Backlash, the pay-per-view. Oh, yes. You know something? What's your mind? I almost forgot. What'd you forget? Derek. Yes. You ever see the movie? Uh, I forget that. What's in the box? Oh, yeah, seven. What's in, seven, seven. Yeah. seven. What's in the box? What's in the box? Ready, brother? I am ready. I Do can't it. wait for this. Do it. Hooch bags. Hello, hooch bags. Today's cigar, of course. I had to do a hometown guy. I had to do it, brother. Right. I don't we're blame in, you. We're in New Hampshire. Yep. I wanted to do a hometown guy. Plus, I'm going to tag him in it, and he's going to love this. Nice. So today's cigar, ladies and gentlemen, in hooch bags. Wow. We have here Steve Saka Soba Mesa. Soba Mesa. This wow. is an unbelievable smoke, and I'm sure all my hooch bags know because we've all run them down. Um, guess where this gentleman is from? He is, must be from Nashua, New Hampshire. No. Low Massachusetts. No, he's from New Hampshire. Oh, okay. He is from New Hampshire. Yeah. Um, but he's from Dunbarton, New Hampshire. Oh, wow. I've never even heard of that. It's, uh, it's about an hour from here. Okay. And um, he is an original guy from Drew Estates. Oh, wow. The original big dog of Drew right. Estates. And decided to leave and go on his own and have his own cigar line, which is... Uh, just because it's from New Hampshire, I'm not yep. putting them over. Right. What I'm putting them over is because the cigar kicks ass. Right. All my hooch bags know. Make sure you, you know, uh, focus in. Make sure you let us know that what you're thinking. But we all know about this. Um, also, if you're in the Nashville area, and again, you have to be because that's who's seeing this. Right. Go to Castro's back room. Four locations all through New Hampshire. Um, twins over in Londonderry. Go see Kurt. Great guy. Uh, he's got plenty of these on, on the shelf for nice. you. Nice. Awesome. Can I give that a whiff? Oh, please. I Actually, uh, let me tell you. Like try. I said, and, and you can see. I love see, this pot. I get the spot. Uh, and you can see that it's already wrapped. Right, right. Take a look. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. See? Guys, go buy one. If you're a cigar smoker uh, and a lover like Derek, Louie, my brother-in-law, I'm going to get you some of these for Christmas. You are going to love me so much this Christmas, Louis, as much as your mom did. Louis, I'll get him the correct ones for you, brother. There you go. There you go. He's going to oh love that. Oh, love, That's God. all he smokes. I mean, he must two or mm. three a day. Seriously. Oh, that's oh, so yeah. good. So oh, him and I would get along great. He oh, yeah, you would. Louis is a great guy. Great guy. What's up, brother? All right. So, backlash. Backlash. One of the main reasons why we're going to talk about this is because, hey, Jay, that's all I'll say. That's it, and man. And most of you guys know what happened anyways. But, but been a while. The show was a pre-show opening match. Baron Corbin, one of your favorites, <laughs> yeah, defeated Apollo Cruz, which I'm not understanding this at all because this kid Cruz got a lot of talent. And I mean, I'd say Corbin's not that bad. I know you're not a big fan, but he really isn't. He's, I mean, he can work too. He's a big guy. I mean, yeah. he should be just playing the monster. Right, right. Excuse the terminology, no, playing no. the monster. Yeah, you yeah. know, absolutely. And, and sometimes it just seems like they're not playing to the monster role with him, right, which right. they should be. Yeah. They give it to Nia Jax, but wouldn't you give it to this kid? Yeah. This kid's an animal. Yeah, yeah. So, big boy. Was he, he six seven? He is like that. I think he's like six no, seven. No, seven. No, no, he's definitely not seven. I'm telling you, he's not. Nope. He's about they, six I, seven, six eight. I thought they booked him. No, because that's Cass. Cass is the seven foot guy. Well, seven one, they say. Yeah, yes, but, right. But Baron Corbin is like six seven, six eight. But that's still huge, that's Derek. That's a that's big, tall. big boy. Yes, it is. That's tall. And I, but Apollo Crews got a lot of talent. I remember when he was in the in the Indies, 
as a tour nation. <laughs> man, they, he was getting booked everywhere. Mm-hmm. Everybody loved him. And uh, I used to get him confused with that other big guy that uh, I forget. But he played a role in uh, Wrestle Pro and in, in PWS, really? uh, the Monsters Island gimmick, whatever. Okay. But I used to get these two guys confused. Okay. And I thought Apollo was the big guy. So when he first came into like the w- NXT, I was like shocked to realize it. He, that's when I knew it wasn't right, the same guy right. I was thinking of because the size difference was huge. I mean, mm-hmm. it was like seven inches between Apollo Crews oh, yeah. and the other guy, yeah. you know. But Crews is put together. He's a really good worker in the ring. Definitely. He really is. But what are you going to do? Baron Corbin wins. So now we go to the main show. And for the inaugural WWE Women's Championship, they had a, was it six or seven way? One, two, three. It was crazy. Yeah, six way. As Becky Lynch defeated Alexa Bliss, Carmella, Naomi, uh, Natalia, and Nikki <laughs> Bella. Yeah, to win, like I said, the Women's SmackDown Championship. Um, Becky Lynch, I- I'm-, I'm pretty high on her, well, honestly. Big time. She can work. Definitely. Um, again, Natalia, I don't know what's up with that. She just doesn't look. We talked about this before. I don't think she cares anymore. I- yeah, probably not. And I that's, really that's don't. unfortunate because. That girl has a lot to give to these oh other girls in the ring. And I think we both said it before. Just go down to NXT yeah, and yeah. be a trainer. Yeah, you should, I mean, her and uh, Sarah Del Rey together. Oh, my God. I mean, Sarah Del Rey is unbelievable, She's too. I was popular. surprised she never got that one run, though. You know what I mean? They just put her as a trainer right away. And they, That girl's and, great. And they did, too. They literally, like, plucked her right out. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if it was injury-prone right, or right, what, right. why. Right. But boom, she went right into that position. And that's one of the main reasons why the women are doing so good. Of course. They have someone in there mm-hmm. and showing them, taking some girls from scratch. Now, Becky Lynch obviously wasn't from scratch. Nope. But you got girls like Carmella. Yep. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Alexa Bliss, when they first came in, mm-hmm. they had a lot to learn. And I'll tell you, Sarah Del Rey did a great job. You know where her boyfriend is, right? Uh, just, Cesaro. Yeah, I just found yes. that out not too long ago. It's yeah. another guy that both of us... A mind boggled how he's not the champ. How he's not a world champion. Yeah. Yes. And if they don't do it, they're really losing. They're missing out because that kid, everywhere he, you know, in the Indies, he got over everywhere. Everywhere. Immediately. Mm-hmm. Not, it didn't take long. Yep. His work in the ring is, honestly, truthfully, if they showcased him better, yeah. he could easily be known as the best wrestler yep. in the world because definitely. he's definitely at the top, anyways. Mm-hmm. And he's got the size, every, the strength. Yeah. Strong, strong guy. It's man. Ridiculously strong. Yeah, exactly. Yes. That's a great word to use. Ridiculous, no doubt. Next up, we had the Usos as they defeated the Hype Bros. <laughs> Zack Ryder and I'm one of Mojo's newest big fans because I was like a schoolgirl that time. Oh yeah. But not really against Mojo Rawley and Zack Ryder, and they went. In, they qualified to get in the finals oh. to take on Heath Slater and Rhino. That's right. In yep. the finals. But uh, so the Usos defeated the Hype Bros to qualify for the tag team title mm-hmm. tournament, the SmackDown actually. Correct. Tag team titles. Yes. Uh, next up, we had the Miz with his beautiful wife Maurice, mm-hmm. uh, and they defe- he defeated Dolph Ziggler to defend the Intercontinental title. What's up with Dolph? Like, I mean, he's better than the Miz. Come on. Oh, honestly, he's be- way better worker. Way better. Way better worker. Talking on the mic, there ain't too many guys better than the Miz. I'll give him no, that. Really. No. Really. He is pheno- he's, phenomenal. He's no definitely good on the mic. It's just the fact of the matter of I, I don't know what they're, what they're going or what they want to do with Dolph. Right, right. That's why this whole gimmick match thing coming up with them, I'm not yeah. understanding yeah, it. Yeah, I don't either. I don't get that. I mean, because if he loses, he's done. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. So he's got to be winning. Uh, I God, I would hope so. I would hope so. Because Dolph is an incredible worker. Yes. And, and an amateur wrestler. Unbelievable, mm-hmm. too. Wasn't he? He was like uh, an NCAA NCAA, yep. Division One champion. I mean, the kid's incredible. A good worker, too. Yeah, you know? great worker. Um, next up, we had a, supposed to be a match between Bray Wyatt and Randy Orton. Oh, boy. But Randy couldn't show up because earlier, like in that other pay-per-view, Brock demolished him. Busted his head open. Busted his head wide open. Yeah, we talked about that. Yep. Quite a few weeks ago. Just so you guys don't remember, I haven't been gone for two weeks. Uh, Derek, we took a week off. I had some family issues. And then Derek and great Paul Fournier stepped in last week. And uh, also, Paul, I told you that already. Great job. Uh, so then, great thought he won the match, getting ready to leave. And out comes Demon Kane. Yep. And uh, they had a no-holds-barred match. And it didn't last long. Nope. Kane. Pretty quick. Man. Yep. I was kind of surprised that it was that quick. But I guess... Because, you know, the way, this, the way the match was going on, it made sense, right. you know, because 
Ray kind of let his guard down yep. that he wasn't wrestling, and all of a sudden he has to take on a monster, a monster, a legit a monster. Legit monster. Uh, so Kane defeated Bray Wyatt in the No Holds Barred match. Next up, we had for the inaugural, again, I keep saying it, but it's the truth. It is. SmackDown Tag Team Championship. We had the Usos taking on Heath Slater and Rhino. Which is a weird combo. Yeah, but it was nice because, you know, Heath Slater, for all the matches, everything he's done for this company, you know what I mean? Getting beat time and time again. Yeah, his win-loss record's not that good. Oh, but yeah. he was, like, if you were looking at baseball, it would be like zero point, no, <laughs> point zero six seven, like right. one win out of 67 yep. losses. You right. know what I mean? It's like mm -hmm. incredible. But... They won. Heath Slater and Rhino defeated the Usos for the championship. I don't understand about that. I don't either, but it was nice. I just nice to see Rhino, I'm sure, for you, oh, too. Oh, for me, yeah. I, I, love, I like Rhino. I love Rhino. Like I said, you know, it's him and I go you know, so far right, back with ECW. Right. And I remember when I first met him, I didn't even know it was him. Yeah. You know, sitting next to a guy like, all right, you know, he gets up. Like, take care, brother. And sitting on the couch. And I was sitting with uh, balls and yeah. sitting there. And all of a sudden... Paul Heyman opens the door. He's like, Rhino, you're on. And I see this monster come out. And I'm like, oh, when did he come in? And everyone's <laughs> laughing at me. Right. I'm like, why are you laughing? He goes, he's been sitting next to you for 45 minutes watching TV. Wow. So after the match, I was like, that was you the whole time? And of course, that's the hair thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah he's good people. Good I'll people. tell you, you're right, good people. Because I met him a few times. Especially the, real, the time I met him the best was when I first did... Um, the first Tommy Dreamer's debut show. Oh, yes. Yep. Oh, it's a hardcore yep. one. And he was there, and he was so nice. I was asking. I said, hey, can I take a picture of you getting the food? You can take a picture of anything you want. He looked at the camera. He's got yeah. the food up. I mean, He's just, such, a, just yeah. a very nice guy. Such good people. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so then we had the main event. One of the main reasons why I want to talk oh, about this is God. Dean Ambrose thanks. defends the WWE World Championship against the phenomenal one. AJ Styles and AJ goes over. Yes. And wins the title. Yes. Unbelievable. Yep. Unbelievable. Ah, uh, you shouldn't really say unbelievable because AJ is that good. Yes. But it was awesome. I was so happy, man, that finally someone that TNA had, you yep. know what I'm yep. saying, yep. came over and they actually gave him something. Correct. You know what yes. I mean? Yep. To give him that title in, he should hold on to that for a while. Seriously. I think, I really think. He's the best wrestler in the world. I do. Yes. Right now, yep. I don't think anyone touched him. No. The PWI 500 just came out. Mm -hmm. They had Roman Reigns as number one. Now, granted, on paper, he had a top couple little. He had the title twice, right? But honestly and truthfully, is he the best wrestler? No. Not even no. close. No He's way. He's not even in the top 20 no. in my eyes. Nope. You know? Nope. I don't, AJ was the number four. I don't give, he should have been one. I don't give a rat's ass yep. who his family is. The kid's the shiznit. Yeah. And he is. He's, yeah. I, I, it just, I don't. Do you agree about AJ should have been number one? Seriously? Uh, lethal? AJ, Lethal, Lethal had two titles for most of, that most of that rating period. Right. So, I mean, you figure if you're talking about real wrestlers. Yeah. Best in the ring. In, in ring work, I would say, I would have to say definitely AJ. Yeah. And uh, you know what? Well, How about Dan? How about? A double. Yeah, but there you go, A double. How about Samoa Joe? Samoa Joe. Right? Like, and who was like, we just, um, like I said, Lethal. How about Roderick Strong? Oh, right. Roderick, there's I'll, a lot of guys, some I'll, Japanese guys. How about Balor? Oh, absolutely. See, that's a great That's call. what I'm saying. Where the hell are these PWIs yeah. guys looking? Getting at. What are they looking at? Right, right. I mean, I don't know if they're not watching it from our point of view. Right. Um, but Roman Reigns, why? Yeah. Because he's, he's popular. On TV, off the, not even popular. No, they hate him. He's not only popular to the office. It's, it's, right. Because the fans hate him. Oh, yeah. Big time. You know? He opens his mouth, they boo him immediately. <laughs> he takes on a heel, the heel gets cheered. Yep. And that's a fact. Yep. Better believe it. You know? Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, AJ wins. AJ. We're happy here We're at the happy. ring and all other We're sports. We're happy about that, man. AJ Styles, one of the met, honestly. Yep. I got a great, some great pictures with him, like I told you before, that picture of him and Jaisaia. Yes. Where he's got, he just finished wrestling Steen. Oh, yep. Uh, and and Jais, I saw him with the belt, and I'm like, Jaisaia, go over there. He's like, no, I'm like, yes. <laughs> right. Get over there. Yep. It's so funny, in the back of the picture, you see Steen, and he's like, you see the look <laughs> on his face, like, I can't go anywhere. Right, right. Because I'm in the picture. Right. But he's like, I'll tell you, it's, it's I'll, did you see the picture? Yeah, I remember. I was right. going to say, because it's hilarious. Yep, it's a good picture. He knows, he's like, uh-oh. Right. 
But uh, AJ wins over Dean Ambrose. And nothing against Ambrose because we like Ambrose too. I do. You know? Yeah, I But do. It, it was just great to see AJ win that belt. I thought it was kind of cool how uh, Steve Austin tore him apart on this podcast. Yeah, though. yeah. Yeah, what's up with that? Well, listen, Stone Cold is Stone Cold. He's right. going to call it how it is. He does. Right. He shoots on no matter who oh, you yeah. are. Yep. And he he said he was a fan, but he tore him apart legit in a shoot. He's like, I, we want more. We want this. What the hell are you doing? We right. want this. And he couldn't answer any of his questions because right. he caught him off guard. And you heard him. He's like, well, I'm kind of uncomfortable. Well, yeah, because you're great on the mic in right. front of a camera. How yep. come you can't shoot? Yeah. Yeah, that's where you, which that's where you should be phenomenal at. Exactly. Honestly, if you're a professional wrestler. I mean, yeah, he's great on the work, and you right. saw him. He's great on the work oh, when yeah. it comes to looking at the camera doing his thing. But when it came to a shoot, right. he was like, uh, uh, See, I'm, I didn't I'm, hear it. I didn't get to listen. I don't listen to as many podcasts now, Derek, because I'm on first shift. Well, it's, it's, the, it's right. the one that was on the, oh, um, so the network. Oh, okay, the network, okay. Oh, he tore him apart. Wow. And Dean was like, um, I don't know what to say. And I'm like, wow. really? So Cole's ripping you apart. Come back at him. He'll yeah, be more... Yeah. Give you more respect that That's way. what you should have did. Right. right. Came Especially back if you were lost. Oh, he you know was what I mean? he was lost. He's like, Well, wow. I don't know what to say. And I'm like, Wow, my God, end this now quickly. Don't but no, it. yeah, yeah. Steve told I'm him about it. Definitely gonna watch Steve that. Steve told this him weekend. I think you should more of you and more of this and this right. and he went after him. Wow. And Dean was just deer in the headlights. Right. And you're right though, that's stone cold. He calls it like it is. Of course man. He, is. he really does. Um his podcasts are really great. Awesome. Too. Like I said, I don't get to listen to as many right. anymore or even what I'm just, you know, working for a shift. Like before when I worked through it, I had, I had no radio. I had to carry around, you know, headphones in <laughs> yep. no matter where I was, yep. you know, just working and listening to yep. podcast after podcast. Uh, next up, we're going to talk about two weeks later. Yep. They had Clash of Champions. Mm -hmm. uh, that was on September 25th. Yep. Uh, the pre-show, the kickoff show, show uh, saw Alicia Fox and Nia Jax. And Nia had beat up Alicia the week before, right. that Monday night before, yep. pretty badly. Uh, Alicia didn't do too bad at the beginning. No, nope. it really was a decent match. <clears throat> um, Alicia made her look good too, in a way. I think. Well, I, I think, think she did. I think Alicia is a great worker. I do too. I really. She's do. a legit, and I'm so glad that she's back. Yeah, me too. I really am. And she's very attractive. I'm just saying, like you know, beautiful. Very, yeah, beautiful very woman. Very attractive girl. Beautiful woman. It can work, and she's like Charlotte, though. She got that. Women's wrestler body. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. She's kind of tall. Yep. She's like 5'11", 6 feet or something. Yeah, you know what I mean? And she's, but she's cut to yeah. where oh, yeah. she great looks shape. great on her. Yes. And I think she's a great worker in I the do ring. Too. I definitely do, too. do. I agree with you 100%. And that's how Nia Jax is going to get better. Not by squashing these people. No. She's going to get better by actually getting in the ring and wrestling girls that can help her. See, that's the whole thing. As long as they're going to put Nia in the ring with workers. Yeah, she's going to get better. She'll only get better. Right. I mean, exactly. yes, she can still play the, the, the monster. Of course. Like I said, please, I, I'm not yeah. saying it in yeah. a derogatory exactly. way. Exactly. He's told us many times. Right, which I want to keep expressing myself. Yeah. I don't want Absolutely. anyone to think I'm talking down about no, a not. woman. But because of the monster role, she's a, she's a big girl. She rolls through people. Yep. That's the way they should keep her. But they should give her more talent like Alicia yes. to work and then put her over. 100%. Perfect. I agree. I think 110%. perfect. 110%. Perfect. Uh, so that was... Uh, that was the pre-show. Yeah, pre-show. And then we went into the main show, and we had uh, Chris Jericho defeating Sami Zayn. I didn't, wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Jericho, though, is still, to me, unbelievable, Still man. the best. I, I cannot help but laugh every time he's on. He he's, really, so entertaining. He's still the best. Yeah. He really he is. He comes on, and like, like I told you before, a lot of times I'm watching wrestling, I'm doing other things. Jericho comes on. Stop. I stop. Yep. I really do, yep. and I watch the whole segment. Yep. Because he cracks me up, you know? <laughs> Uh, he said something about Mick Foley looking stupid one night on Raw, mm -hmm. and he said, me look ridiculous. He goes, you're wearing a scarf without a shirt, <laughs> you know, and I cracked up. Mick, Mick is great, too. But, uh, yeah, Chris Jericho defeats Sami Zayn. Then, finally, finally, we had the champion of the Cruiserweights, mm -hmm. TJ Perkins, mm -hmm. defeated Brian Kendrick to retain the title. Correct. Awesome match. Well, you know why TNA's pissed off at Vince. Because of this kid. Because of this kid. Better believe it. Oh, yeah. But that kid is unbelievable. He really is. He deserved to win that thing. There's a lot of guys that could have went a lot of ways, and they all would have deserved yes, it. Yes, agreed. But this kid definitely deserved it. He did. And you know what? Now we finally have a division. You don't have to put a 200-pound guy in the ring with a 350-pound monster. Exactly. Now you have all these guys. 
who are that size and who can work. Yeah. Excuse the terminology again, but of course, a lot of guys are going to call it spot monkeys. Right, right. And I don't think it is as much as Ring of Honor. No. You know what I mean? No, Which correct. I just went to. Right, right. The other night. I don't think so either. Um, but these guys are great workers. Yes. And they work hard. And yeah. I totally, totally give nothing but respect to TJ. He deserves it. But he went through over there, and now he's over here uh, earning a real paycheck, shall yes. we say. His paycheck's cashing, and now he has a permanent schedule. Yeah. So salute to him. And that match against Kendrick was, was oh my God. unbelievable. Crazy. It really was. Great, great match. Best match of the night? Mm. It was up there. Yeah, I don't was, know. It was up there. The main event was great, too. Yes. It was. But yes. this match was really good. That was good. a great match. Yes, uh, next up, we had... <laughs> And me and Derek know we neither one of us like this series of seven, this particular one. Right. We like some of the ones in yes. the past. Yep. But Cesaro versus Sheamus ended in a no contest. Thank God. In match number seven, the series is tied, and now they're teaming up. Well, like I and said, that's you... comical. Did you see this past? Oh, week? I did. We're not going to talk about it, but right. But I still think it's funny that you know Cesaro's <laughs> contract's coming up. Is it really? So they better wrap him well, up. Well, the man. thing is, is I think that's why they did this. I think that's why when they went with the swerve, like, look, you guys are monsters. You guys killed each other. Why don't I put you together? Right, right. You know, you heard Mick. The 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 worst. You know, the two guys who hate each other become the best tag team. Right, right. And Mick ran it down. You know, the Rock and Sock connection. Yeah. Number one, Stone Cold and Shawn Michaels held the world tag yeah, team yeah, title. Yeah, yeah. So you got stuff. Right. I mean, God, didn't even Kane. And, and Stone Cold hold the title together, a tag team title? I think they might have. But what about Daniel Bryan and Kane? They that, were supposedly hated each other. They hate each, each other. other. Exactly. And that's how you make tag teams. Right. So if they're going to do that to keep Cesaro going and maybe even put them over yep. as tag team champs, yep. solid. Well, and, and you know, it's a believable oh, it, for oh, them to be it, tag team it, champions. It's definitely you know? believable, yes. I'm not trying to knock anybody, but like to give the tag team titles to the Hype Brothers. I know. You know what I mean? I'm just, I know. But definitely Cesaro and Sheamus, mm -hmm. they look good together. It's... If they could get on the same page, yes. but it's comical how they bicker back and forth. I think it's what awesome. I think what they're doing is I think they're setting that up to I hate you, I hate you, you do this, you do that, and all of a sudden they get in the they get to the ring and they're just like the road warriors. Right, right, right. They just boom, boom, boom on the spot. Everything hit, 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 perfect. Yeah. I think it's gonna be like that. I really do. I yeah. hope so. Me too. Real quick before we get to the next match, look at them. People are commenting on are they? Facebook. Yes, so, they are. Everybody, we can't talk to you back, but I see you guys commenting. Thanks, guys. I hope you're enjoying Keep the show. Keep it up. Thank you so much. We appreciate ah, it. Next up, next up, we had uh, the Raw Tag Team title. As the New Day defeated the club, Luke Gallows and Kyle Anderson. Yeah. Still loving the New Day. Really? Yeah, their their shtick I'm is getting, awesome. I'm getting more and more pissed off of them not pushing Gallows, Gallows and Anderson. Right, right. What are they waiting for? I mean, why not Seriously, put the title back and forth? What the hell are you doing? Right. These guys are a great oh, team. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And Anderson is the most underrated professional yeah. wrestler. I agree. You know, let these people I go agree. watch some of his IWGP oh, stuff. Yeah. He's an animal. Yeah, he is. Yeah, and I, I, here's what I think. I'm just thinking that, yeah, they, they did well over in IWGP yep. with the whole thing. I just think they're very happy with the position they're in, as right. in where you making are. some good money. They're making great money. Yep. You're with the WWE now. Yep. They know down the line something big is going to happen. No matter what. That. No matter what, it, it's right. going to look that way. Right. Um, and I, I don't like how they're pushing the New Day to be the longest-running World Tag Team Champions. Right. I don't like that. Um, but it's what they're doing. They're entertaining. Yeah. They're getting better and they better. They are entertaining. They are entertaining. They're getting better and better. And I'm just hoping that they give the club a bigger push. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. It just, just cracks me up, you know. Yep. You think there's an owl in the room. Right. But uh, next up, we had the Raw's women title as Charlotte defeated Sasha Banks and Bailey mm -hmm. in a three way. That match, too. I, again, we said Perkins and Kendrick was great. We know the main event was great. That match was phenomenal. Great that match. match was great. Great match. Yep. Great match. Definitely. And like I said, Charlotte went over. Next up for the U.S. title, Rusev defending it against. A guy that we just talked about that we're not big fans of, no. Roman Reigns, as Roman wins the United States title as he defeated Rusev. Rusev. Yay. Rusev. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we weren't too keen on that match, no. to be honest with you. Nothing against Rusev either. No, good worker. You but know, definitely. He's in there with Reigns, who yep. is not Next a worker. Up, we had the WWE Universal title as the champion, Kevin Owens, defended it against Seth Rollins. Love that. A fat guy who can work, a and fat. I know how much you love it. I love, I love Owens, a too. Though. fat guy yep. that can wrestle. And wrestle well. He's not a gym rat. Yep. He's the guy. You know, you know who... Know who Kevin is? Kevin's the guy in the parking lot yep. while you're on the treadmill killing it, 
eating a double cheeseburger right. wrapped in bacon. Right. You know yeah, what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Waiting for you <laughs> to come out of the gym. <laughs> Waiting for you to come out. Yeah. That yeah. is Kevin Owens. Yeah. His, his wrestling is just, it's always been top notch. Yes. The kid has always been at the top of his game. And I, I, his personality is great, too. Oh, my really, God. It is. He is definitely one of the best, funniest heels. Yes. I would say when it came to Mike's skills, The Rock definitely carries it yeah, forever and ever. Yeah, yeah. But this kid is great. Is just like Jericho. And, and to see him with Jericho, oh my God. I'm loving it because no matter, even though Owens is great already, mm -hmm. you know how much he's learning from Jericho? Oh, God, this, yes. The little, the little things uh, he's learning. What, how much more happy could any guy slash right. indie slash guy be right. when they go, oh, we're going to put you with Chris Jericho, the yeah. guy, the, the original guy who won the... Um, you know, who unified the yeah. world titles. I mean, yeah. Jericho's been all over the world. He's done Everywhere. WCW. He's done... Mexico. Me he's, done, he's held every title. He was in even ECW for yeah. a little while. Yeah, I mean, He was great in ECW. He was too. unbelievable in ECW. Yes, he was. So you put people like Chris Jericho in yeah. with, with Sabu and right. make a wrestling match. Right, right. So uh, to put those two together is, is definitely like, uh, like a dream come true, shall we say, yeah, yeah. for Owens. Yeah. If they come up to me and I'm in the back room and they're like, "Oh, we're gonna put you with Chris Jericho," I'm like, "I need to, I need to go in the back." Yeah, yeah. I'm I hate crying my yeah. eyes out. And you know, you know that Owens was definitely a fan of Jericho. Who isn't that? You well, know what I mean? And he's from Canada, exactly. so you know he's been that watching works. him the whole time. Yeah, gotta believe it. Yeah. I and I do. I love them together. Me I too. Think it's great. Uh, we're gonna jump another week or so ahead, and yep. we're gonna talk about this past week. Was it this past week's? Monday. Yeah, Monday night. This, yes, this, this past, past Raw. Monday. Yep. Monday night Raw. We got the results, the winners, and all that from October 3rd. Actually, this is yes. a little exciting. All right. You cool. know, because uh, someone felt better and oh, yeah. right to the top, yes. baby. Uh, so the show starts off with, um, was it right? Reigns, right? Cause, yeah, the, there's a new United States champion. His name is Roman Reigns. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah the big dog, blah, 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 yeah. blah, blah. And they're in the Staples Center. Uh, I'm just the man. And, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And that night... We're also going to have in the main event, which only the second time in, in Monday Night Raw history that a women's match Correct. was the main event. The Correct. first was Lita and Trish Stratus. Yep. And guess what? Yeah. This, this match was the match of the night. Definitely. It was. You know, you can buzz through all these if you want and go to the main event because yep. that's the one to talk about. Absolutely. That, I mean, uh, yeah, let, let go yep. buzz through this, man. Yep. Let's get to so, it. So, listen, we're, uh, so Re Reigns ends up winning the match, whatever. That surprised me now. We just talked about. T.J. Perkins versus Brian Kendrick. Yes. They had a rematch. Now, remember. Non-title match. Right. Remember that the match in the pay-per-view was yep. a title match. It was a title match. So and Perkins won. Yeah, but, of course, in the wrestling terminology, you still get your clause that, oh, I want to wrestle him again. Right. Boom, Monday Night Raw. Yeah. And a non-title match, yep. Brian Kendrick defeated T.J. Perkins. Clean. Clean. In a great match with great the match. bully choke. Yep. He hit him with a twice. Yep. Great you know? match. It really was. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, as we talked about a comments, all them cruiserweights are all great. They're all great. All of them. Yes, they are. You know, you can put, Rich Swan's been on three weeks. In a yep. Row. You know how happy I've been? Mm -hmm. Seriously? He only, uh, he only won one of them, but that's all right. Tony Nese, that match was. Oh, that kid's crazy, isn't man. He? Yes. See how strong he He's is, though, seriously? Just, just a great worker. Oh, incredible. Uh, so then, so the, they, they, it looks like they're going to have a title match at Hell in the Cell. Yep. So. Look for that match oh boy. at Hell in the Cell. Mm. It's going to be great. Perkins versus Brian Kendrick. Uh, so next up, we had uh, Seth Rollins as he rages against the machine. Yes, he yes. He declares, yep. declares war on mm -hmm. the machine. He wants his rematch with Owens. Yep. Uh, he's going to get it. Rollins says he will prove he's still the man. Mm -hmm. uh, his face turn is official, too, by the way, the way he's been going. Oh, it's, right. It's official. He's a, he's a baby face right. now. Uh, so next up, we had poor Chase Silva. As he got squashed. Must be, a, must be a local of California. Yeah, by Braun Strowman. You guys have seen Braun, uh, Braun Strowman's squash matches? It's, it's the same thing. It's ridiculous. You've already seen it. There's nothing. You miss nothing. Yes. And then we got Sasha and Bailey talking up Backstage. tonight's main yep. event. And uh, the boss is ready for this opportunity. Mm -hmm. um, and also she thinks she can get it done. Bailey says she doesn't see anyone more deserving. Yep. I like to see that friendship between the two of them. It is, it's nice. But also, I've seen them talk in the back where, hey, all about me. That's right. You know, we yep. all got to look out for each other, but they're still friends. Let's hope the ladies put on a great show tonight. Next up, we had Jericho. <laughs> yeah. Chris Jericho yep. and Kevin Owens. They come out and they want to challenge the new day. Yep. 
Ah, they hit the ring, you know, with the mic and the list in hand. Oh What's going God. on the list? Oh, my God. Hey. That is... Hey. I, that's so funny. You're going on the list. That's that's Jericho, though. Isn't that a riot? Yes, no, it is. It really is. Like we were saying earlier, he, everything he does lately is just hilarious, <laughs> you know? Yep. Uh, Owen's response to Rollins' interview that was taped early in the show, he says Rollins is blaming everyone for costing him the title, but in the end, it is he that beat him. Right. Um, I'm the one that beat you. I'm the one holding the Universal Championship. You know, Owen suggested Jericho be the special guest referee if Rollins received the rematch. <laughs> the segment transitioned to Jericho, suggesting right. he and Owen challenge the New Day. Yep. Uh, the two went back and forth in the idea, and there was a planned tense moment when Jericho mentioned challenging Owen right. for the title, which immediately Owen said, that's a good idea to be a tag team, because he didn't <laughs> want to fight Jericho, that's you right. know. Uh, things quickly shifted to the Canadian duo taking aim at the New Day. The crowd loved the idea. Yep. Um but they loved the appearance of the champions even more. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, it was a great segment. It got even better when the New, new Day arrived. Xavier Woods delivered the insult of the night. Owen said the New Day had jumped the shock. Right. And Woods retorted, have you looked at yourself lately? When is the last time you jumped over anything? Right. Which was hilarious going back to what Derek said earlier, a fat guy that can wrestle. Exactly. The challenge was accepted, and this one could be interesting. Next up, we had Titus O'Neil doing this new gimmick Another thing. gimmick change. Yeah. They, they, they blew their chance to push this kid all, a long time ago. All done. Seriously. Yeah, all you really, done. At one point, you could have pushed him. Yep, all you done. Really could, I still hate that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I can't stand it must that. must be thing. something where he's from, the University yeah, of oh, it's, whatever. Yeah, it is. It, it is, is, right? It's yeah. part of his college football, okay. which he was phenomenal. He was a great football I player. I always say that. It, it, it sounds silly when I say it because of AJ, but it's true. He really was a phenomenal yes, football player. Yes, he was player. a great player. Ah, so Sami Zayn defeated Titus O'Neil. We all know what he beat him with the Yakuza kick. I'm not saying it today, that's so right. that's it. You don't have to say all it. All right, thank you. Sheamus and Cesaro hate each other. It looks as if those two guys are headed toward the tag titles, though. Man. They're I'm... playing up the whole disgruntled teammate angle. I know. Um, Fo Foley makes his first appearance of the show, and he settles down the pickering duo, mm -hmm. you know? As usual. Oh, yeah. And uh, so there's every reason to believe, though, the same thing will happen here with, you know, a triple threat mm -hmm. between the New Day those guys and um, and Gallows, Gallows and yep. Gallows and Anderson, yep. um, and C C I'm sorry, Cesaro and Sheamus. Sheamus. That's what I meant yep. to say. <clears throat> um, then we had Gallows and Anderson defeating the Golden Truth, which is still funny. I still like both those guys, yep. but they don't even come close to being as funny as Jarrett going on. No. You know what I mean? No. Or even the New Day. But I still like them. Mm -hmm. And, I, and, and I'm, I'm glad that they're still on TV, I'm even though truth, they lose. I'm an actual truth fan. He's funny, man. Me too. And Goldust was one of my favorite performers back when he first came up because it just was strange, man. All those little, well, you know. It's just good to see Dustin has a job. Oh, absolutely. He deserves one, too. Definitely. He's, a, he's another great worker. Yep, definitely. Then, so Ashton Kutcher and Danny uh, Masterson from How the stupid, 70s show. How stupid his. can you get? I don't, yeah. I don't really care. Yeah, me either. So we're going to just skip over Please. that. They confronted Owens and Jericho, which is funny and all that, but I'm so upset with that. Yeah, who cares? Enzo and Cass handled one of the most awesome Susan G. Coleman that tributes. That was awesome, man. Um, that was awesome. You know, what did we get over here? A couple winners. <laughs> that was great. I mean, it really was great. It's did great it... to see that WWE still, you know, helping out this great cause and everything. You know, salute, like you would say. Salute. salute. You know? Uh, next up, the New Day defeated Jericho. Kale. <laughs> Jericho. Jericho, yeah. right. Um, uh, Masterson and Ketchum were on commentary, which, you know, it was, it was annoying. It was. Uh, to me, it was very annoying. It was terrible. Really, you know? It was terrible. You know, I don't even think they're wrestling fans. That's what really gets yep. me. At least if you brought, like, John Stewart, yep. he's a real wrestling fan. He really right. does. He right. loves wrestling. Yep. These guys, I don't even think they're fans, you know? Yeah, you can skip all this garbage. Yeah, well, Woods took the damage, blah, 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 the bat. You know, the, yeah. the seeds are being planted, though, for Jericho and Owens to yes. split. Yes, yes. That's for sure. Charlotte continues to prove her uh, superiority. Yep. She knows that she's the only reason she's in the main event, right. blah, 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 baloney. Yep. Yep. Stephanie confronts Seth backstage. That was another thing we could skip right over. Yep. But I don't want to skip over this. No, don't. As Tony Nese defeated... The guy I, I like a lot, Rich Swan. I'm a Tony Nese fan, so. Yeah, I mean, I am too. Yeah. He's great. Great. Remember we saw him at the House of Hot yep. That kid is unbelievable. I'm a great worker, but man. That was a great match. It was a good it match. It really was. It I, was a good match. I think Swan's getting over a little more, too, with the fans when he comes out. I think the crowd's getting a little more used to him. Yep. I thought they were a little bit louder. Mm -hmm. I still think they have a ways to go. There's too many just 
TV fans Correct. and those Monday Night Raw audience. This is what I want to talk about, yes. brother. Let me tell you. You know, it's kind of funny when you <sighs> see when you see them backstage doing their thing, and and I thought it was kind of cool when uh, Charlotte was making her way and Bailey was there, and then yeah. you know Dana the Shiznit Brooks is saying something, and Bailey bangs her, and yeah, oh yeah. my leg, and she plays the role terribly anyway, but, right? Which was great because now Charlotte's out there by herself with the boss. Yeah. Yeah. Un. Unbelievable yeah. match, man. Yes. Unbelievable. Unbelievable match. It, and it was a long match, you know, that got better as it kept going yes. on. It really, really did. Sasha became the two-time women's champion uh, when she forced Charlotte to tap out to the bank statement. But did you see, when I saw Charlotte go to the top row. And do that twisted moonsault. outside. That was awesome. I was so it nervous was awesome. because I did not want Sasha to not miss the spot. Right, right. Because Charlotte would have been hurt pretty oh, bad. Absolutely. Caught her perfect. Yep. Great bump. Done. A plus yes. plus for that match. Man. And now remember that last one when when Sasha had her back hurt and all yep. that. She had her in the bank statement. She laid down. They were doing it again. I'm like, no. I loved how she kicked out and flipped her flipped body. Flipped her belt. Yep. And got her in it even tighter. Yep. And Charlotte didn't waste much I time. I thought she was gonna break her in half. Yeah. And then the, the, I liked the ending as they were leaving the match, too. I really did, with Charlotte going, right. it's mine. You know, she... I really liked it. There's one thing about Charlotte. Yeah. Didn't... Yeah, she was upset, which you can see. Listen, when you're that high in, the, in, in that kind of company, yep. and you, you have to put someone else over for what you have, yeah, heartbreaking and so forth, but you know what? You've got to give her mad kudos yes. for still... Playing the heel role. Yeah. Oh, absolutely! Unbelievable! Absolutely! She did a great job, and great job. I'm just happy that one of our girls, hometown girl, hometown girl, yep. has the gold back. Yeah. Mercedes, salute, girl. Mercedes KV from the old chaotic in New England Championship Wrestling, Correct. all over around here. Yep, she's just phenomenal. We're gonna we're gonna go right into our uh, this Tuesday SmackDown. Well, let me tell you, this was a pretty quick show. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna go quick. Anyways, there's only a little over 20 minutes, and I gotta get to the Red Sox. Yeah, like I said, this was a quick show anyway. Yeah. Um, Bray Wyatt kicks off the action. Uh, the show doesn't even, you know, doesn't begin with Mike work. Instead, Bray heads to the ring for an undisclosed match. Who's he facing? Kane. Uh, good match. Okay. It was, it was pretty good. It was quick. You know, um, quick match. Yeah, but but you know, the match is old. It's, well, it says here it's so old and tight. It's not even funny. Um, you know, concludes when Kane punches the the uh, force of the Eater of Worlds outside the ring. Right. Disqualification and yep. all that. Ah. Uh, it seemed like Randy Orton was going to come out, but he didn't. No. Nope. Which I kind of was surprised because they kind of teased it, mm -hmm. but he never showed up. Nope. Uh, Baron Corbin talks smack. Smack talks Jack Swagger. Swagger. He wins the match easily. Nick, I actually was watching this live the other night because we had just gotten home. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I put it on and, uh, oh, yeah. Nikki Bella defeated Alexa Bliss by DQ. Well, DQ because, of course, here comes Carmella again. Yeah. He just starts throwing haymakers. Yeah, I mean, it, and eventually they're going to have to be going, Nikki and her are going to go at it. Um, I think. I well, would have to. Well, because she keeps it to fear and, you know, I'm going think, after well, Alexa. Have to. Yeah, have to. I would think so, too. Um, That's when they set up that tag match. Well, she, yeah. Yeah, well, that was because she hopped in the ring to attack Nikki. Right. Which, I, they're supposed to both be baby faces, aren't they? Who? Carmella, is she a baby no. face? No. No, oh, no. She's, she, ah, see she's that? the I'm heel. Sorry. She is the heel. Yep, that's why they put wow. her. If you notice, they put, you know, Carmella. You see Carmella and Alexa. Right. Oh, against, that's right. You're right. Yes. Against Becky. Right. And Nikki, and Nikki Bella. So yeah. that's what they did yeah. that for. Right. And uh, they, the Carmella and Alexa Bliss defeated Becky Lynch and Nikki Bella. And that's about it. We'll that, talk about that. that quick uh, another beautiful tribute to the cancer survivors. Oh. Definitely. You know, and I don't know if, if you guys did see it, though. Um, you know, uh, he almost he, he, was, he was losing it when he was talking. With Daniel Bryan? Yeah. yeah. He was losing yeah. it. And that goes to show he has a real heart, that kid. Yes. Yes. You know? I um, agree. This, this coming year, I'll be 19 years. Right. A survivor. Oh, yeah. You know? It's and, awesome. And thank you. And uh, just to see how they care about yeah. the whole, you know, when, no matter what kind of cancer comes up and they're right on it. Yeah. Salud, yeah, you brother. gotta give them Salud. a lot of credit for that. That do. really is awesome. Definitely and do. I'm so glad that you're still here. Thank buddy. you, brother. Appreciate you know? it. Uh, yeah. Next up, we had the Hype Bros defeated the Vaude Villains. That's about all we're gonna talk yeah, about. Yeah, that was, that quick. <laughs> that was quick. That's all you need to hear. Yeah, that That's one. It. Yeah, I yeah. know. I think uh, 
That's I think it just almost it, over. Yeah, smack talk. And yeah, this Dolphin and that. the Miz deliver more promo, blah, 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 which is yep. good because we do know how good the Mick is on the mic. That's correct. Uh, Jason Jordan has no partner right now as Chad G Gable he, is. Uh, I almost called him Jable. Yeah, his but, leg. Uh, yeah. So Jason Jordan defeated Jay Uzo. This kid Jason Jordan is awesome. Mm. He is. The Uzos are good too. I'm not I, knocking the Uzos at I all. I thought it was a very, really... that was a very sloppy win, though. Yeah. With that roll up. Yeah. That was really but, sloppy. But he's still, you know what I mean? He's still not. Yeah, you but know. he's in there with the Usos. True, true. Which I mean, they should be able to help him carry. Which him they a little should, bit you know, yeah, yeah. at least tell him to, if they were going to do something slow like that, slow down because yeah. the way he had him, all he had to do is maybe even like did, did like a bridge or something, make it right. look good right. for the three. No, right. instead he just sat on top, oh, sat down. One, two, three. I'm like, no, why would you? Uh, right. I, I thought the yeah, it was a little sloppy. Could have been a little better. Definitely. Definitely. Uh, Bray, Bray Wyatt escapes, you know. Oh, um, because Orton put him in the thing. Yeah, yeah. because Orton came, look, you know. Um, then we got Kurt Hawkins is back. Oh, I still, nothing I personal against him, but promos are terrible. Yeah. Listen, he can wrestle. Oh, he's There's a worker. No doubt he that can wrestle. That kid's a worker, man. But he's, uh, I think wrestling managers are still needed nowadays. Yep. Because he could use one. And again, I'm not saying it because he can talk. Right, right. He just could use one. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And there's, again, nothing personal because he can wrestle. Mm -hmm. Kurt Hawkins is a good wrestler. Yep, definitely. He's just missing something. I think with one little piece, he could really be, yep. he could be great. Definitely. He could be great. Now, uh, now this one yeah. was kind of controversial. Yeah, what? I think what. Oh, yeah. What Swagger had him in it. Yes. I think what happened was Baron was reaching for the ropes. Yeah. And tapped. Right. And he and ref called it. Right. But see that you're saying like he reached and went down and reached and went down. He wasn't tapping. No. Though. No, there he was, was not. Definitely no, no tap. No, there. there was no tap there, and the ref saw that, and that's why Baron lost his mind. I actually was pissed because I yeah, said because because if this is like real, that referee, you know, mm -hmm. that was not a tap. No, not it, a tap. That should have been a, a totally different match. And that's got to be Jack Swagger's first victory in three years. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, am I right? No, you're right. Two, three years yeah, at least. you got to be right. I can't even believe he's still in the company. I know. I really can't because they don't. They have so many guys that they don't do anything no, with at all. It kills me. Kills it does me. kill me, too. And then, of course, it ended with, with yeah. the three main guys. Yeah. And, AJ, Dean, and, and, and of course, and Cena. Dean and AJ just destroying yeah. Johnny. I mean, yeah. ripping him apart. Yeah. yeah. And which is a surprise because, well, obviously, it's scripted and all that. Of course. And, and Cena's Latin. You know what I mean? Because, well, you know, Cena's. Probably is. I think it's better than both of them oh, on the mic. Definitely is. But you know what? Johnny knows that it's time for the newer guys to yes. come forward. And it is. And it is. John is the first guy to tell you. He don't give a rat's ass what he's yep. doing or whatever. John just loves to work and loves what he does. Yes, he does. So, salute. 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 All right. So now we're going to talk. We're going to switch sports because we're going to go to the Boston Red Sox. Well, like I said, tonight's a night, baby. Tonight's a night. Game one in Cleveland. As uh, Rick Porcello takes the mound to go against the Indians, Trevor Bauer. I know. Uh, two right handers on the mound. Porcello's 22 and 4 this year. Trevor Bauer's 12 and 8. I'm going to go through the pitching matchups real quick, okay. and then we're going to talk about other stuff. In game two tomorrow night, we got left handed David Price, who was 17 and 9, taking on right handed Corey Kluber. Oh. Corey Kluber gave up 36 home runs this year. Mm -hmm. So look for the Sox to go deep yep. a few times Gotta tomorrow night. I'd love to see him go deep tonight. I sent it to Maria this morning. I'm going to just put it out there because sometimes I don't say things to people and things happen. Hanley gets two tonight. Oh, okay. Hanley Ramirez is going to okay. hit two home All runs right. tonight. Sox are going to win 8-2, to 8-1. to one. All right. And then tomorrow night, David Price is finally going to get his first playoff victory. Yes. Yep, he's going to go eight innings. The Sox are going to win 3 nothing. Man. Probably ain't going to happen, but I want to say that. <laughs> I really do. I want Because I'm praying that it happens. Because yeah. David Price is such a good pitcher. He it's is. It's time that he turned this playoff thing around. I agree. He's got, you know, one thing real quick. Not one Red Sox pitcher in the styling rotation has ever won. Wow. Playoff. No kidding. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Now, which is weird because I could have swore Clay Buckholz has won him. But maybe, maybe he hasn't. But I read it. I read it, dude. None of the starters. Hmm. Now, Clay might have won a World Series. Which I think that is you true, know what I mean? yes. But I don't think yes. they, I think it might be the American League pot that okay. they haven't won. I don't know, about. but that's what I swear I could have read. If I'm wrong, guys, hit us up. Comments on YouTube. Comment it. Facebook, you know what I mean? I got a ring on all other sports. Facebook, Derek's on Facebook. I'm on Facebook. You know, look us up. Let us know what you think. I hope you're watching, people. Uh -huh. Sunday, we got in Fenway. Clay Buckholz has taken them out. Now, Clay has turned his season around the mm. past 
six weeks. We didn't have a choice. Right. He was taken out of the rotation. Got us put in the bullpen. Mm -hmm. And finally, he's turned this around. And we talked about this a long time ago, too. That Buck Holtz, at the time when we talked about it, we were mad. Yep. Because he just wasn't getting the job. Yep. He's a streaky pitcher. Now he's red hot. Yep, definitely. Let's hope he can keep this going. Because I, and I know I said this before, Clay Buck Holtz, a lot of his problems are up here. Yep. Are up here. Did you notice? He goes nothing. He goes from the stretch now. He does never like. There's nobody on base. You, know, you do the wind up. Yep. He threw that out the book. He doesn't do it anymore. He goes straight. No, it's working though. It's working for him. You know what I mean. Yep. But Clay Buck Oates is going to go up against our Josh Tomlin. Now the Indians are only going with three starters. Okay. Because mm. they're coming back if necessary Monday night as the Sox are going to put out Eduardo Rodriguez, another kid that's turned his season right. around, and Trevor Bauer is going to go back on the mound. Now. Game five starters, obviously, to me, with just the way this is coming mm -hmm. down, if there is a game five, it'll be back to Porcello. Yep. And uh, Corey Kluber will take over. We're going to look at the lineups now, Derek. Yep. Um, I'd like to go with Cleveland first. Okay. Um, they, they're carrying three catches, which kind of surprised me, you know? Usually you go with two catches. You grab an extra outfielder or an extra right. infielder, you know? Because, mm -hmm. you know, you, you really don't need three catches. Right. You know? But uh, so they got... Uh, the backups is Chris Jimenez and uh, Yan Gomes. Hmm. And they're both pretty, they're all right. They're yep. not, you know, they're not bums or anything. Right. Cleveland won 94 games this year. You know, the Good. Sox won 93. Right. But I do believe the Sox are a better team, even though we won one less game. The American East, the East is a lot harder than mm -hmm. the, the Central yep. in the American League. Definitely. Way harder. I mean, you got, you got three teams that made the playoffs from the American League East. Baltimore, Toronto, which they played in the wild card mm -hmm. game. Did you see that game, by yes, the way? Yes, they did. What a home run, huh? Yep. What a home run. Um, okay, so it, they're only carrying one backup infielder, mm. Michael Martinez. Now, that's where it makes me go, what the? I know. You know what I mean? I know. Because your first baseman is only, can only play first base or catcher or DH. So right. it's not like you have, like, Travis Shaw, mm -hmm. how he can play third and short at, at right. first. If he can play third and first, you know he can play second if he had to. He could most likely play outfield if right. he had to, too. But this kid, they got one backup. So let's say one guy gets hurt. You know what I'm just like, yeah. Two guys get hurt mm -hmm. in one game. What do they do? Mm -hmm. Seriously, what do they do? Right. They're screwed, you know? Uh, they're backup. They're carrying uh, two backup outfielders, right? Raji Davis and Brandon Goya. Raji Davis is pretty good. I don't know much about Brandon Goya, to be mm. honest with you. But definitely Davis is good. Um, never mind with the pitching and all that. But we're going to go their start lineup. You know, they're leading off the, the game tonight with the DH. Okay, it's Carlos Santana, who actually is an infielder. Yeah, I was going to say he's an yeah, infielder. He is an infielder. So I guess, I guess in a way we're wrong because they have two then. All right. No, it is, but he's DH. You know what? It is two then, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and he's leading off. And batting second is a great baseball player, Jason Kipnis, mm -hmm. second baseman. Kid, the last two years, he's probably been top three second baseman in all of baseball. Seriously. He's right. actually had better stats the last last year than DP, Dustin Pedroia, our yes. second baseman. Yes, so Francisco's in there, right? Yes. Batting third is Francisco Lindor, shortstop. Mm -hmm. This kid's the real deal. Fast. You know? Yeah, he reminds fast. me of Bogarts. Real fast. Right. Really does remind yep. me of him. Batting fourth and playing first base is our old friend, Mike Napoli. <laughs> I know. Who, you know, you got to love Mike Napoli. Yeah. Big part of our championship. Yep, I believe you know, it. One of our championships. Uh, batting, batting fifth and playing third base is Joe Ramirez. No relation to Hanley or Manny. <laughs> but he's not a bad player either. He's pretty good. Like I said, Cleveland won 94 games. It wasn't by accident. No, not at all. You know what I mean? No. These guys can play ball. They play a little bit different. They, they don't go as long ball as the Sox yep. are doing all that. They do a lot of... Um, you know, manufacturing runs. You know, you get the leadoff guy on, you might yes. bunt them to second yep. and look for the hit and run, things mm -hmm. like that. You know, they play a lot like a National League. Like right. But Tito, for, uh, Tito Francona, Terry, yep. former Red Sox manager, we all know how good he is. Yep. You know, it took him a little while, but this is his fifth se season in Cleveland, and now they're in the oh, playoffs. Can't believe look for these guys to stick around man, in the playoffs for a few years. It's been that long, man. Serious. You know, and it wasn't – you know, we let him go because of the goddamn chicken yep. and beer thing. Yeah. You know? know, John Lackey and all the rest of those bums at the time, you yep. know? Yep. Cost Tito his job. Yep, definitely. You know? Yep. Uh, but uh, next up in right field, bat and six, we got Lonnie Chisenhall. Not a bad player. Quick. Another kid that's pretty fast. I don't know him too long. Yeah, they steal. A, that's another thing, guys. They steal a lot of bases. Oh, do they? They steal a lot of bases. Again, they, that's their game, you know? Bunting. 
Mm -hmm. Stealing bases, hitting runs. You know, this is going to be an interesting series. It really is. So, Coco got to be on there. Oh, yeah. Coco's next. Okay. Playing left field now. Okay. Coco Chris, another ex Red Sox who was a great baseball player. Yep, definitely. Uh, batting eighth is uh, the center fielder, Ty Tyler Naquin. Another good player. Don't know a lot about him. Mm. Seen him a little bit. Pretty good. Um, another fast. These, like I said, these guys are fast. Yeah. And batting ninth is the catcher, Roberto Perez. Really good catcher. Decent arm. I don't think he's, uh, you know, a uh, uh, huge threat to throw us out if we try to start stealing bases. But he's pretty good. Uh, now we're going to go over the Red Sox. All right. This is their lineup now on the bench. Yes. We, the second catcher is Christian Vasquez. Yep. Christian wasn't on, it, on the team for a while. He had some injuries and stuff. But between him and the catcher, Sandy Leon, they both can throw out runners. Definitely. So it was definitely the right. And he calls a good game from behind the plate. Good call. Nothing against the other catches that Ryan Hannigan and stuff. He played great this yep. year. He did pretty good for us this year. But I think they made the right choice with the two catches that they're going. Okay. Uh, it, it, we, we're carrying three infielders. Marco Hernandez, which was a little surprise that they not bringing another outfielder right. and they're deciding to go with this kid. Um, also, Aaron Hill mm -hmm. and Travis Shaw. I think that's because you're going to see a lot of things like with Brock Holt starting at third base. You're going to see some, some like, you know, pinch hitting yeah, yeah, and things yep, like that. Yep. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if situation Chris Young comes up to pinch hit for, Bre for mm -hmm. uh, Brock. You know what I mean? And then now you got you could either throw in Shaw or you could throw in Aaron Hill at third right, base, right. you know? Um, and like I said, Chris Young is the fourth outfielder. Yep. Who will get some starts? He, mm -hmm. I, I expect to see him at least start in one or two games if the series goes yep. five. I really do. Uh, but we're gonna go to the starting lineup now. Yes. Leading off, as usual, second baseman Dustin Pedroia yes, was coming off a fan, fantastic mm -hmm. year. Yep. You know, I expect big things from the Sox. I Let's really hope do, so, man. And it's gonna start with him. He's hitting unbelievable right now. Mm. Like seriously, unbelievable. Uh, batting second, which was again surprise in a way. Brock Holt batting second, playing third mm. base. Mm. You know, gets the start over Travis Shaw. I know. His versatility is a huge, huge key to us. Right. You know, that's why I was surprised he wasn't on the bench, honestly. Right. Because he can do so many different things. Travis Shaw, we were talking about, could play third at first. He probably could play second if he had to. Yep. But, you know, let's just hope our middle infielders don't go down because we have one of the best double play combinations in baseball. Yep. After Brock Holt, we got playing right field. And definitely in the conversation for MVP, Mookie Betts. Yes. Who plays everything. Yep. I mean, he de he's the one of the best all-around baseball players in the game now. Definitely. He's fast. Mm -hmm. He's fielding. He's got a gun for an arm. Actually, right field and center field, we have two of the best arms in baseball. Yep. We really do. Yep. Because he can throw it. Uh, Bat and forth in his swan song playoffs, Big Poppy, David Ortiz. Guys. I really do believe the Red Sox can win this World Series. They can win this playoff series. They can win the World Series. Yep. Their pitching's got to hold yep. up. I don't, I'm not worrying about their hitting because they will hit. Right. They will hit. And Poppy's going to be a big key to that. Uh, Sean Wiggins, brother, we're going to go to our fourth <laughs> rolling rally together, brother. <laughs> nice. You know, he's working, like, does all these baseball games. I don't think I told you. This is my buddy right down in Jersey. A lot of wrestling fans know him. Ref Hanson, he's worked for Jersey All-Pro, Ring of Honor. Yep. Now he's working for Tommy Dreamer's House of Hardcore. Mm -hmm. He's in New York doing the game. Oh, okay, I think for Spot Fox. I'm not, I, I never asked him who he works for. Right, you know what I mean, right. I never have. But there's pictures coming up of the Sox celebrating in the clubhouse. Standing oh, yeah, pitch. yeah. Did you see the picture? I saw that, yeah. Here's a kid, one of the biggest Red Sox fans <laughs> you'll ever see in your life. Yep. And there he is in the clubhouse. I said, dude, how did you control yourself? He's like, you have no idea. He goes, it was one of the greatest moments of my life. Definitely. He said, I got no kids. So I'm telling you right now, you know what I mean? This is one of the greatest <laughs> yep. moments of my life. People giving him crap. Oh, yeah. I'm like, you know, they're just jealous. Jealous, they're exactly what it is. They're just jealous, you know? He's a great kid. So if you guys don't know him, just letting you know, Sean Wiggins, I love you, kid. You know that. Hockey season's coming up. We're going to get together. But first, definitely got to be for the rolling rally, whatever you want to call it, parade or whatever. We're going. Right. We went to three of them already together. Since nice. 2004. We nice. Went all three of them. What do you got left, brother? Next, we got uh, batting fifth, 
First base, Hanley Ramirez, okay. who I declared here two home runs tonight. Okay. Let's hope it happens. Okay. Next. Uh, bat and six, shortstop, Xander Bogart. <laughs> him, like we said a minute ago, him and Pedroia are, two, yep. are probably the best double play combination yes, in baseball. Definitely. I might be biased, you might be biased, but they're great. Yep, definitely. Uh, then we got bat and seven. Jackie Bradley Jr., another kid like Betts, not having as good a year as mm -hmm. Betts, but here's a kid at one point had a 26-game hitting streak this year. Let's hope he does something like that Let's now. Let's hope so. You know? Take it home. Uh, yeah, bat and eighth, catch it, Sandy Leone, who actually came in as a backup and stole the job yep. with his hitting. Yep. At one point, he had played like 27 games and was hitting over 400. It's crazy. You know? It's crazy. His bat has tailed off, yep. but it could get hot like yep. that again. And batting ninth was one of the probably the biggest surprise on the Red Sox all year, besides Sandy Leone, was Andrew Benatendi, 22 years old. I know. And this kid came out of nowhere mm -hmm. from double A. Yep. And he's unbelievable. Yep. He's, I remember, like, it was his first or second game. He went over the wall, stole a home run. He's just been a great player since the day we brought him up. Mm -hmm. He's only been with the Sox five months, four mm -hmm. months. It's been an unbelievable ride for this kid. He does a good job. So what do you think? Who's going to take it? Oh, man. It's three out of five. Well, that's so what I'm I mean. Take, I'm saying Sox in four. Ooh, I am. Well, knowing knowing these both these teams, yeah. I'm calling full boat. You think it's going five? You better huh? believe it. And the Sox taking it or is Cleveland Oh, taking? come on now. Forget about Beautiful, it. Because I'd be so mad at you. Forget about it. Cleveland. Forget about it. You know, it's going to be great. Um, the, 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 two, the two playoff games that already happened, mm -hmm. they just played two nights in a row. The first one, we, I mentioned earlier, you asked if you saw it, yep. with Toronto in the ninth inning. Yeah. Hit the walk. It was a walk-off. Oh walk-off three-run homer. That was homer. terrible. Yeah. Of a ball throw. They left Zach Britton in the bullpen. Terrible. I still don't understand why. Once they had two guys on, you have the best pitch. And really, though, he's probably the best pitcher in all of baseball. I agree. Two on, no out. You should have brought that kid in. Agreed. Because he could have shut down that offense. No problem. Uh, and then last night, it was the Mets and the Giants. Yep. And Madison Baumgartner again gets yep. the ball, goes nine innings, yep. and they went three nothing also. Man, good game, great game. It was phenomenal. Uh, Derek, man, it's great to be back. Brother, you know, I'm glad uh, everything's going better for you. Thank you. I just, you know, I gotta say one thing. Uh, this show seriously is dedicated to my, to my mother-in-law, uh, Sal. I love you. Uh, rest in peace, honey. Uh, I promise I'll take care of Nicole, Maria, Salud. Isaiah. I love you. Tell and him. I'm going to miss you. you. Ready? I'm ready, brother. Peace! The preceding program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters.